So what's going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome back. In which, in this video, we're gonna create our very own WordPress blog from the scratch on a cloud service provider. So I have been recently working with some of the UI parts of CodeDAM and I has also created a blog on WordPress. And uh, this is hosted on, by the way, on Google Cloud. So I just wanted to put out this video in case anyone wants to host their WordPress blog on Google Cloud from scratch so let's see it's pretty simple if you know a little bit of command line and uh, you should be good to go so let's get into it first of all what you have to do is create an instance kind of like right so you have to go to your google cloud console and uh, or maybe like if you are using aws that's fine digital ocean that's fine you just have to create an instance get an IP address a public IP which um, basically points to your instance right so just go ahead create an instance create an EC2 instance create a droplet whatever you want right I'm just gonna name this like WordPress demo something like this right it's pretty cheap actually you can see that if I choose just a one virtual CPU it's just like $25 a month right you can even like if you have a very personal blog and it's not receiving a lot of traffic you can actually get it for free right so if you choose this micro one shared instance you actually get it for free for the whole month right because it's just five dollars a month and google just waivers that off but i'm just going to go with one virtual cpu here i'm going to change this from debian to ubuntu because um that's what i'm comfortable with working with and uh, allow the traffic there you should go so once you do that what you should see is that you have an ip address to this instance and meanwhile what we could do is just go ahead and search for the wordpress so you see you have to go to wordpress.org and right here just go ahead and click on what get wordpress and just choose this download.tar.gz file and actually we don't need to copy it at the moment you see that our instance is ready here and i have this ip address now you have to ssh into this machine somehow now you would know how to do that yourself because uh, this kind of like is dependent on how you choose your cloud provider right so let me just zoom in here a little bit right so i'm just gonna go make use of google cloud so i'm gonna choose this as my username and i'm gonna say my identity file is this one right okay all right i guess we have been using ips too much and what's this ip here there we go you should probably not get this error right i got this error because this ip address was already being used by one of the instances i created in the past all right so once we are in the system what we should see is that we are into this uh, obviously into the cloud system and right here if we visit this website we pretty much see nothing at all right nothing at all right so what we have to do next is we have to actually set up apache php mysql and wordpress because these are the four things which we need in order for wordpress to actually work starting off with wordpress what we're gonna do is grab this link from the official WordPress site and just say wget and this thing right here, right? And what I'm gonna do is just uh, unzip or, you know, untar it here, kind of. So this would create a WordPress folder in our directory. You could see this is our folder right here, right? So what we need to do is we need to actually configure this uh, wp config sample file right first of all i'm gonna make move this config sample to wp config.php because that's what wordpress is going to use right now before actually configuring wordpress we need to install apache too so let's just go ahead and first of all do some task and i'm let me just switch over to root only because we're gonna write sudo a lot of times here so i'm gonna say app get update and app get install apache 2 so this is going to install our apache web server right after this we would need to configure the apache 2 as well 
so what we have to do is if we take a look yep just just give yes to everything it asks right all right so now if we take a look at service apache 2 status we should see that apache 2 is running and what happens is if i go ahead and take a look at this address right here you could see now our ip address serves this apache 2 default page which means that we are making some progress right so what we have to do next is pretty much configure apache 2 but before even before that let's just set up our mysql so i'm gonna say apt get install mysql server right and make sure you pass in yes to everything it asks right so it's going to ask you for a password right here anytime now and uh, you should obviously keep a secure password but i'm just gonna pretty much keep it like a d the default ones because you know i'm not really interested in security in this video but obviously you should keep a secure password right all right so let's just wait for that okay so once it's done what you should do is write mysql secure installation to secure your installation right so it says that you if you want to enable validate password plugin i'm gonna go with no but you have to go with yes here if you're on production server right i'm just gonna type my password as root you don't have to do that you have to type a strong password remember that remove anonymous users yes disallow root login yes yes yep and there we go so now if i do my sql user root and password root as well you see we get into my sql easily right so that's that now what we have to do next is first of all we have to create some some user here for the wordpress to use right so i'm gonna say create user and i'm gonna say this is database admin oops i guess we messed up there so create user database admin at the rate localhost because that's where oh what the hell am i doing let's try one more time create c-r-e-a-t-e -E. what the hell is this can spell create user db admin at the rate localhost there we go and once we do that you would be able to see that we have a db admin user now which wordpress would be using for its operation now we need to create a database create database wpdb right and i'm going to assign this database privileges to this user so i'm going to say grant all privileges on what is the database name we have created wpdb and every table on that to db admin at the rate localhost and i want to set its password to identified by and i'm just gonna say this is root only so the password for this one is also root right and we have some sort of error grant all privileges or oh, sure shot cancel okay we have to write the whole thing again great P R I V I L I G E S P R I V I L L its privileges. Ah, uh, somebody needs to attend a spell class, I guess. To DB admin at the rate local host identified by root. Okay, there we go. So now what would ha what has happened is that we have access to this DB admin user root right all right and the reason i did this is because if we exit root you're gonna see that i'm unable to access the root account without sudo right so you see i'm able to access this with sudo but without sudo it does not work however my other regular account i'm able to access without sudo right db admin so that's why we need another user apart from that it's not really a good idea to give root access to the wordpress thing all right so with this being done our mysql setup is done now let's just go ahead and configure our wordpress so i'm gonna say this is wp config.php 
and very very well um apt get install nano oops okay nano wp config so what we have to do is first of all define our database name which i guess was wpdb if i'm not wrong wpdb right for the username part we have our username as db admin host is this password is root now obviously you have to create secure passwords here and paste accordingly then localhost is fine this is fine uh, I'm gonna leave this authentication key secure key and all that stuff but you should probably put that on your uh, you know configurations just put some random string bunch of strings here otherwise uh, uh, your keys would be predictable right yeah I guess that's fine for this one and uh, once we have done with once we are done with this I guess what we have to do is just finally configure our, our Apache configuration. So I'm gonna go into etc in not really nginx. We are using Apache 2, and we're gonna take a look at Apache 2.conf first of all. What we're gonna see is right here somewhere we should be able to see that. Okay, let's see where it is. Here it is. So our directory actually is not var www, but is home and uh, dev and then WordPress, right? We are we want to allow override to all because we want to create our .hta access file, custom access file. If you set it to none, then you won't be able to create that. And that's pretty much it at this part, right? Oops, I guess we didn't open it with sudo so there we go sudo nano let's see so here we are and right here what i'm gonna say again is home dev wordpress and going to make this all and there we go another thing we have to configure is sites enabled and sudo nano 000 default.conf so we're gonna move our document root from var wwhtml to home dev wordpress right and other than that i don't think we need any other change right here and one final thing we have to do is we want to change the permissions here of this wordpress so that apache is able to access it so I'm going to say change the ownership of WordPress recursively to this particular group, which is the username of Apache on Ubuntu, right? I guess on other distributions, it uses Apache 2 or some other username, but on Ubuntu, it uses www data. And I want to change the ownership of WordPress. And there we go. All right. So once it's done, I'm just going to uh, sudo service apache2 restart and sudo service apache2 status right so everything looks fine and if we take a look in the browser now if we reload this page right here what we should see is and it is so great that we forgot to install php on our server wow well that's embarrassing but anyway let's just continue and install php so that our wordpress doesn't appear like a simple text-based platform we need php we need lib apache 2 module php we also need php mysql extension and yep and don't worry you can find all of these commands in the description you just have to copy paste them and uh, just choose any other area do 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 I'm not sure let's just go ahead and do that anyway so let's just wait for it to install all right so once it's done we should be able to run php v which gives us a nice little version and i'm just gonna run sudo service patch 2 patch 2 restart just in case you don't really need that but anyway 
let's just reload this and finally we get a nice little installation so now if we go ahead and continue we could say um, our site title is wordpress test username is admin password is admin yep and my email address could be something like this I install wordpress and uh, there we go we have successfully installed wordpress on our site now i can just log in with admin admin i can go ahead and see some plugins right here you know i got installed some plugins just to verify that our wordpress is working fine so let's see if i just install jetpack by wordpress you see that we are able to install the plugins that means wordpress has successful access to the file system and uh, we could also go ahead and create some posts you know just a regular post so only if it just loads faster so wordpress has this nice little editor change in wordpress 5 or something i guess i pretty much like it so we have our post published as well and there we go so we have our nice little wordpress website up up and running i'm not sure how many minutes it has been but yeah well well under like 15 minutes or so right so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you like this if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and like this video and that's all for this one and i'll see you then in some other video